I have lice to sue. For the one guy that actually asked for this, uh, here, here you go. You may be wondering, am I okay? No. The Nishijo girls are hot. That's right, this this isn't a joke. Um, in fact, throughout these 26 episodes, a majority of them do take place in the summer, and guess what fucking happens when you're stuck in the middle of fucking summer in the middle of fucking Japan? Well, who would have guessed? You're gonna get fucking hot. I mean, I basically live in a desert myself, and I can barely stand it, so I don't know how these girls do it. I mean, maybe, maybe if I was in Japan, I'd have more initiative to go outside, but no, I I, I don't live in Japan, okay? Fuck you, I'm, I'm just- I'm moving to Japan. I, I don't care anymore. I'm moving. I'm- 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 you know, throughout my entire watch through of this, the one recurring thought that kept going through my mind was why are their feet so square? Like, what do these girls look like they just hop straight out of Minecraft, and as a Minecraft veteran, I, I would be lying if I said these girls didn't make me feel a certain way, I mean, uh... Also, One Girl's a Robot and My Life as a Teenage Robot was like my favorite show as a kid, and come on, do I... <laughs> Do I really have to ex explain myself here? Like, come, come on guys, come on. If you've watched any level of anime, you would know that the target demographic is children, okay? Ha have you ever seen anybody over the age of 14 talking about Tokyo Ghoul? No, no you haven't. But have you ever seen a 14 year old talking about Nishijo? Didn't think so. <laughs> Domestic violence. I, d I don't I don't actually know what point I was trying to make here, so uh, let, let, let's just let's just move on. Nishijo, like many other anime, is set in high school, and let me just ask you, what sole characteristic does every high school anime have? That's right, hot girls. Look no further than High School of the Dead or High School DxD, like, did, did you even hear what I just said? High School. All three of them are set in high school, and all three of them are hot. Case closed. There's also the girl with the brown hair named Yuko, but honestly, if, if I were her, I would change my name to You Stupid because she is so stupid, and last I checked, if you're retarded in an anime, you're probably hot. This girl, on the other hand, has blue hair, and now I'm... <laughs> I'm pretty sure everyone already knows this, but oh, what does the color blue represent? Yep. Blue's Clues. That's right. Mio Naganohara from Nishijo is a dog. What? She also likes to wear these little uh, square cube things in her hair, and Geometry Dash was a pretty cool game back when it came out, not gonna lie. Uh, they they also kind of look like Rubik's Cubes, and honestly, I've, I've never actually solved a Rubik's Cube, I just used to watch my friend do it, and he, he kept trying to tell me there was this thing called like an algorithm to solve it, and I, but I was confused, because I thought an algorithm was like a math formula, and I, I couldn't comprehend what he was trying to tell me, so every time I tried solving a Rubik's Cube, I, I would just get sidetracked by trying to explain to him what the word algorithm actually meant, and now now, now I'm finding out that the word algorithm has multiple definitions. What, what the squid? There's also the glasses girl who looks like she belongs in Azumanga Dayo, and the teacher is very cute as well, except that every time I see her, my mind just reverts back to Sakura code from Yuri, Yuri which I, I guess is cool. Let's not forget the one and only though. Yep, the professor. Or should I call her the big stupid idiot? She is so stupid, and if you think I'm about to go on a five minute tangent about why she's stupid, then uh, <laughs> you're right. Every time she's on screen, she does something so stupid that I, I can't comprehend how this creature created an entire robot, yet can't even understand the basic fundamentals of super glue. This, uh, this doesn't even have anything to do with her being hot. Do, do you really think I'm gonna sit here and call this thing hot? Like, what do you think I am, like a fucking pedophile? No, no, I won't. H Haka say hot, more like Haka say not. I want to be- I want to beat her up. She is so stupid. It, what is she even wearing? Like, how, how does she wear that thing? I want it. I, I want to wear that thing. Not only that, she is also abusive to her cat and her kid? Wait, H Hakusei's a mom? I- I guess Hakusei's a mom now. Uh, Hakusei more like Haka gay. I- I'm gonna move on now. Okay, back to the teenage robot girl. I'm- I'm just gonna come out and say it and say that her USB functionality would be insanely useful. Like, just imagine how many flash drives you can store inside her. I mean, I- I don't even really know how this relates to her being hot, but from a personality perspective, I would say this is definitely a bonus. And for the finale, and I, I know you've all probably been waiting for this, so I'll stop stalling, but yes, 
My one true love is, of course, Sakamoto. Look, don't don't take this the wrong way. I know you're probably all thinking the same thing right now. Ke Kexi, this makes no sense. You said why the Nishijo girls are hot, but Sakamoto isn't a... Sakamoto... Sakamoto's a guy. I know, I, I know, but look, I, I'm, I'm giving Sakamoto the pass, okay? He, look at him, he's, he's adorable, come on, he, he's also a cat, and... No, 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 don't, don't do this to me, okay? Don't, don't, don't remind me of that fucking feline right now, okay? Stop it, get it, get it out of my fucking head, okay? This is not, no, I, I stopped, you stop, holy squid!